Here we go. This thing is finna light up the sky, bro. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. It's such a slow countdown. My name is Majoris and welcome to my first ever movie reaction. Yes sir, I told y'all I wasn't playing. Come on now, right out the gate of 2024, we getting right into the movie reactions. I told y'all they was coming and here they go. Today, first time watching Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer? Op Somethingheimer. Okay, from what I'm hearing from other people, it was one of the biggest, if not the biggest movie of 2023. I don't know anything about the movie. All I know is it's starring, what's his name? Killian Murphy. It's supposed to be around like the whole story about the construction of the atomic bomb. So I will assume that this is around World War II-ish time. But I just know that there's been tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of hype around this movie. And this movie destroyed the box office. That and Barbie. Other than that, um, I really just want to get started. Like I said, my first ever movie reaction the full length reaction will be on patreon link in the description to that the higher tiers you are the more benefits you get get them shout outs you feel what i'm saying i i randomly pick the shout outs uh when when people start following i mean i just finished the patreon so there's no one there yet <laughs> y'all get up in there i'm gonna start doing the shout outs i'm gonna I'm, I'm do them i'm ready to do them you feel me without any further ado let's get into it openheimer let's get it dang this movie is three hours long oh you already know universal it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. You see that Universal logo? It's a wrap. Oof. Okay, visually, it already looks pretty good. Whoa. Damn. Okay, visual, visually, it looks very good. Admiral Strauss, uh, this is a formality. President Eisenhower's asked you to be in his cabinet. Eisenhower. Okay, yeah. So Eisenhower's in office. So yeah, this is World War II. Or maybe right at... No, this is during it. Who, who was it before? Was it Truman and then Eisenhower? Or Eisenhower and then Truman? I don't know. But if Eisenhower is presidency, this is World War II for sure. What in the world are these graphics? This is amazing. Oh my god. I need to go to the lecture, sir. Why? It's Mills Bohr. Bohr. Oh, the that's the dude who found the um, the model of the atom, ain't it? I remember him. Oh no, no, you Oppenheimer. You finish coaching us, please. Okay, so they were picking on him when he was in school. Potassium cyanide. Is he putting cyanide in the apple? Yo! I actually kind of want to see the dude eat it, but. Wow, bro, again, these graphics is insane. Oh, the apple's still there. He's feeling bad about that apple. No, Neil had... Nah, bro, you... I'll send word. Where am I? How's your mathematics? Please don't put no math in this. I'm not gonna keep... I'm, I'm not gonna be able to keep up. Algebra is so stupid. It's really meant for people who want to be scientists and stuff like that, where equations actually matter. Shoving all this algebra down my throat while I was in school without teaching me stuff like taxes and insurance, interest, loans, you know, that type of stuff that you really need in life. The position comes with that house for you and your wife and your is it two children. Yes. Nice. That he, he's already set. Institute that he's going to be working at with a house for his wife and kids already. Who is that? That's Einstein! Yo! Albert. He don't look good. He look pissed. You seem to meet with a wide range of other countries' physicists. Any Russians? Ugh, here they go, bro. Because this is also like a race between the world superpowers, including Russia, so they finna, they finna act the ass. He's seeing, okay, so I'm guessing these graphics that we're seeing is what he's seeing in his mind. Like he's envisioning the inner workings of the atom bomb. I don't know, but I'm assuming that's what it is. It's the best way to bring that vision out. Did you ever encounter Heisenberg again? Not in person. No, but uh, 
I'm hearing a lot of big names. Oppenheimer, Eisenberg, Einstein. I'm hearing a lot of Ein and Ein and Ein and Ein. Radiation laboratory. Whoa. Okay, this is where the big stuff is at. I must have missed the... Lo Mr. Lomlitz? No. Nah. Yeah. So you're starting small. What do you know about quantum mechanics? I have a grasp on the basics. Then you're doing it wrong. Is light made up of particles or waves? Waves. I thought light was just waves. A star, a vast furnace burning in outer space, fire pushing outwards against its own gravity, balanced. I know that for like the existence of stars, it's like a constant battle between gravity and pressure. Yo. Damn, who is she? Oh, you remember Jackie? Her skin is so smooth. Yeah, damn. The bigger the star, the more violent its demise. It swallows everything. Into a black hole? Yep. Yeah, that's true. That's how stars work. If, like, when a star dies, I'll explain it later. <laughs> MG. Oh, she fine. Robert. Oh, Count Chevalier. Oh, she very fine. God damn. Do you always tell the party line? I like my wiggle room, too. Huh. I've, I knew. Damn, they got titties, too. Okay. I was going to say that when it comes to nuclear fission and electrons and all that, like, I, I know when it comes to that stuff. People study stars a lot because that's how stars exist. That, that's how stars are made. Um, damn, I can't stop looking at them titties. When stars are born, it's a constant battle between the pressure of the star and also that fission reaction that causes the star to, to push out, like, like gravity coming in, but also that fission causing energy and stuff to come out. The older a star gets, if the gravity wins and it condenses, then it turns into a black hole. If gravity's too weak, It'll either like fizz out and just turn into a neutron star, I believe it's called, because it's neutrons, all the protons, electrons, all that energy is gone. Or a supernova, which is, it, it'll just blow up. I feel like I can see one of those dark stars that you're working on. You can't. That's the whole point. Yeah, you can't see a black, black hole. Gravity swallows light. It's like a kind of hole in space. Black hole, yep. I wonder if the technology that we have now, they had then the stuff that they would discover and how quickly we would have advanced. They've done it. Hahn and Strassman in Germany. They split the uranium nucleus. They did it. They split the atom. It's not possible. Uh, it, it, it is, apparently. What do we all think? A bomb. Alvarez. A bomb. Mm. Now, th now, now that they know. I don't understand what you want from I me. don't want anything from you. You did before. You was riding him like crazy. You let him get inside of you. You wanted something from him then. Hey, what happened? Dr. Bush, what brings you two up north? It, what's, what's going on right now? It's something that they won't discuss around Oppenheimer. Hey, bro, black holes, it's in! Okay. You've been upstage. Hitler invades Poland. Uh uh. I can't, man, I can't stand on this left, right, communist, capitalist, democratic republic. Can we just be on the side of wrong and right for a change? Or did he tell her he's moving? Y'all ain't married or nothing. Y'all just been smashing, ain't it? Why are you mad? Why are you? Don't alienate the only people in the world that understand what you do. One day you might need them. Facts. Don't don't get too uppity now. Dr. Oppenheimer. I'm Colonel Groves. This is Lieutenant Colonel Nichols. <laughs> that Matt Damon. Hitler called quantum physics Jewish science. So blinded by hate that he's denied Heisenberg proper resources. Mmm. Get the other Jewish physicists on your side and y'all might beat this. Okay, I think that I, I think I see what they're saying. All America's industrial might and scientific innovation connected by rail and it comes together here. A secret laboratory. Then this dude is a goddamn visionary. Uh, they're are they like finding testing ground for the bomb? I told you, you, you can bring your family. I'm not a soldier. I mean, he's a general. I've got all the soldier I need. So he's recruiting a whole bunch of scientists to help him build this thing. When I calculated the chain reaction, I found a rather troubling possibility. What? 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 Excuse me, sir. I got our friend Stan. What for? To talk to Einstein. Well, there's not much common ground between you two. That's why I should get his view. Yeah, look at them calculations, Einstein. See what's happening. If the truth is catastrophic, share your findings with the Nazis. So neither side destroys the world. Mm, they might not listen, but you can try. This reminds me a lot of Hidden Figures about the movie about all the black people, all the black women specifically that helped build rockets and spaceships for during the space race. How about we leave it with something new? Such as? Instead of uranium or plutonium, we use hydrogen. Mmm, <laughs> just like stars. The Russians have a bomb. We're supposed to be years ahead of them, but that was so... 
Is somebody giving information away? Like, is somebody ratting? There's no proof there was a spy at Los Alamos. Robert. There, there, there was. Look at that. Bro, y'all got a mole, bro. Uh-oh, this nigga mad. What the hell are you doing in Chicago? We have every right. You have just the right that I give you. We are adults trying to run a project here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'd like to remind you what we talked about in Berkeley. Departmentalization, I understand completely. Yeah, you can't have nobody giving out information. We've already had enough of that. Early Christmas present for you all. <laughs> Niels Bohr, yes, Sersky. We're ahead. And was you here to help us, Niels? Okay, could you could you give us a moment, gentlemen? He don't want to help, or maybe he just don't don't want to be a part of it. The power you're about to reveal will forever outlive the Nazis. This isn't a new weapon; it's a new world. Yeah, nu this nukes. Yeah, he is one hundred percent right about that. This this is finna be the start of nuclear mass destruction weapons up to where it is now. Everybody got nukes. This is the start of all that. Father called. They found her yesterday in the back. Oh, she k killed herself. Jean committed suicide. Hitler's dead with a Japanese fight on. Their defeat seems assured. Not if you're a GI preparing to invade. Yeah. Okay, so I think they were originally in a rush to use this on the Germans, but they ended up using the bombs on Nagasaki and Hiroshima because the Japanese and all that. Ooh, they almost got it. Ooh. It was like that sound barrier, like you see it blew up, you see it blow up before you hear it. We will test fire before the conference. Ooh, they almost done building it, look. Ooh. This is insane, bro. Don't blow everybody up. So what, are they gonna drop the bomb from the tower and that'll be enough to blow it up? Let's get the soft observation. Pull them out, we can make our determination there. Ooh. It's getting real hype, it's getting real tent. Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? Yeah, a super, super, super low chance, but not absolute zero. So they're gonna drop the bomb from- The arming party's left zero, they're heading this way. Throwing your switches. Turn the cars. Ready for emergency evacuation. Is a plane gonna drop it or are they just gonna blow it up from where it is? Yep, they're good. Okay, got the switches. Is that the button? 20 minutes. Bro, this is too intense, bruh. I see why this did, why people consider this best movie of the year. Uh oh. Here we go. This thing is finna light up the sky, bruh. Nine. Nine. Eight. eight. It's such a slow countdown. Two. One. <laughs> oh, snap. That's a big ass explode. Damn. Damn. Uh oh, that shockwave's on the way. I see it. Yo. You can look at that without the glass, can't you? At this point. Ooh. There it goes. It just hit him. Yeah. Yeah, he's the oh he's the man now. He's like a god to everybody now. We'll take it from here. They're gonna build another one. Yeah, they they made another one. They made two to drop on Japan. Try Groves. Anything? So he's waiting on them to call f for confirmation that the bombs worked. That's crazy. Tech, that's crazy that they cracked that. The very power of stars and used it, that reaction to make a bomb. More than two billion dollars on the greatest scientific gamble and we have won. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's crazy. You could just hear the rejoice in everybody's voices. This is, 
This is crazy, bro. He's not feeling good about it, I don't think. It's, it's, something's not sitting right with him. He's he's not. He, he knows what he's done. He knows what he's just showed people is possible. So proud of what you have accomplished. I just wish we had it in time to use against the Germans. <laughs> That's weird. It's like all this noise, but they managed to... Dang. Oh, yeah, he's it's it's hitting him. Like the the repercussions of what he's done. <laughs> Everybody is super happy except for him. And people making out and everything. Yeah, it's not sitting right with him. He knows what he done did. Dang, he's on Time Magazine. President Truman will see you now. Oh, he's at the White House. How's it feel to be the most famous man in the world? You helped save a lot of American lives. Yeah, at the cost of a lot of Japanese lives. I feel that I have blood on my hands. Mm -hmm. You think anyone, Hiroshima or Nagasaki, gives a shit who built the bomb? They care who dropped it. I did. Hiroshima isn't about you. Don't let that crybaby back in here. There's nothing wrong with a man who feels guilty for what he's done. This dude has created a successful weapon of mass destruction, and he knows that it's not just going to be America that's going to have him. Everybody going to have him, as everyone has him now. He, he's right for feeling with how he's feeling. Everyone in the street was instantly and seriously burned. Oh, they're showing them pictures of the aftermath. He, 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 he not even looking at them. Oh, yeah, he's he's not. Yeah. J. Robert Oppenheimer, straws fought in the U.S. one. Those were your words from the other day. We needed to pivot. What's going on right now? It's like Oppenheimer versus Strauss right now. We need a systematic destruction of Oppenheimer's credibility so he can never again speak on matters of national security. Yeah. He's, he's coming after Oppenheimer now. Roger Robb. Robb will have security clearance to examine Oppenheimer's file, as will the Great Board. Damn, this dude orchestrated this whole thing. So, Oppenheimer's on trial now. Is anyone always going to tell the truth about what's happening here? We will now hear from uh, Dr. David Hill. This is dirty. This is real dirty. The scientists in this country would prefer to see Mr. Straw completely out of government. Ooh, uh-oh. Oppenheimer made mincemeat out of Straw's position on the shipments of isotopes to Norway. Straw's never forgave him. Facts. Ooh, this dude is spilling all the beans. When did these moral bombs become so strong that it'd be the policy of the United States to make these things at all costs without regard to the balance? Right. Do you know he's never once said that he regrets Hiroshima? Because it made him the most important man who ever lived. So here, here, here we go. They're putting him down a rabbit hole now. Would you have been opposed to the dropping of a thermonuclear weapon on Japan because of moral no. I would, sir. His background is shaking again. Our efforts would only fuel their efforts just as it had with the atomic bomb. Just as it had with the atomic bomb, exactly. In the light of disregard with your somewhat disturbing conduct, deny renewal of your security clearance. That is all. Damn. Who were the holdouts? Free, led by the junior senator from Massachusetts. What's his name? Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. <laughs> Even Kennedy was against Strauss. That's crazy. He turned the scientists against me, starting with Einstein. Nobody really knows what they said to each other that day. Is it possible they spoke about something more important? Uh-oh. Got him. Got him. You ain't that important, son. Chill out. What did he say? Can we see? We thought we might start a chain reaction that would destroy the entire world. What's that? I believe we did. Yep. That's what I'm saying. He He knows. Bro. <laughs> okay. Christopher Nolan, that's why this movie was so crazy. I should have known. Oh my god. That, bro. That was a work of art. Well, that's definitely one of the longest movies I've ever seen. Bro, I started recording at like maybe 8.15. It is literally about to be 11.15. 
I've been here for three hours. The movie was exactly, from start to finish, three hours long, bro. I see why it made one of the best, if not the best movie of the year. That was too good. Like, yo, the entire movie, as long as it was, I understand why it had to be that long. Because they had a very complex story to tell and a lot of details that needed to come out. Since the movie was so long and a lot of it was kind of hard for me to grasp, well, I remember it, but I can't really like process it or pick a lot of it up. But I, I absolutely agree with him with what he said at the very, very end. Talking about, you know, when we, you know, said, oh, there's a possibility we start a train reaction to end the world. Yeah, we did that. Because now warfare and weaponry and it's different. Now with the flick of a switch, humanity is literally like at stake. You feel me? Because I knew right when, you know, the after the demonstration and he detonated it and everything. And especially when he started seeing the repercussions of it in the aftermath, I knew for you could see it. It wasn't sitting right with him. At that point, I was with him because he feels guilty and he knows yeah it's gonna be a victory for america and everything but it's going to come at a huge cost yeah ever since then we've had missile crisis cuban missile crisis cold war really if you think about it we've been in we've been at war ever since tensions have been high ever since between america and russia or maybe when you get into even japan or china or whatever tensions are stupid crazy a lot of other countries and players are now on the field now but it's still the same superpowers as before and i like how they use this like prometheus analogy him being the one that basically gave mankind a weapon that they should not have and he felt terrible for it this was a phenomenal phenomenal movie now i see why everybody went crazy for this but i've been here for over three hours now three hours and two minutes now I need to go. Other than that, I'm going to end it here. I'm not gonna lie, like maybe in the last hour, my eyes were getting real heavy. So I'm gonna go lay it on down. But I hope you guys enjoyed this movie reaction. Full length reaction is on Patreon. All links to everything in the description. Also, don't forget to check out my music. Verified artist on all platforms, as well as the beat store. Purchase sound kits and beats. And um, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Oh,